I'm Robin Jones. I am uh, a professor mostly of editing and magazine writing, and I am the advisor for Dig Mag. Can you tell me about how your career got started? Yeah, actually, I started out in newspapers. Um, you know, I started as a sports writer. I was a, a sports writer at my high school newspaper and then at my college newspaper. For the first two years of my career, I was I wrote prep sports for um, the Half Moon Bay Review, uh, and also a little bit of other stuff on the side, surfing and that kind of stuff too. Um, but my ma uh, my newspaper put out a magazine just kind of on a whim, um, and I wrote a couple of pieces for it, and I thought, oh my gosh, this is what I really want to do. <laughs> so I went back to school. Um, I got my master's degree at the University of Missouri, which has a really good magazine program, and I went through the program there. Uh, again, I thought I was going to be a writer, um, and had, you know, my path was changed again there when I took an editing class and, um, I, something just, something happened. The penny dropped after the first couple weeks there. I thought, no, this is what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> so I ended up working as a magazine editor. Um, after I got out of school, I, Worked for Westways Magazine, the AAA magazine. If you're a member of AAA, you get this magazine. Um, I worked there for about 11, 12 years, as um, uh, first as a copy editor, and then as features editor, and finally as the managing editor. Um, and then I left that job to go freelance, uh, did a lot of freelance writing and editing, and then about six months into my um, Freelance career, I got the call from Cal State Long Beach. They were looking for an editing professor. And so I came here and um, I never left. And that was about 12 years ago. Do you have a favorite class you teach? <laughs> oh my gosh, no. See, that's what's so hard. I love them all for different reasons. So um, I love editing. I could talk about like where to put the commas basically all day long. It's like my favorite thing. <laughs> um, but uh, I think, you know, I also really love the magazine class because that's the class where I see probably editing too, but magazine, I see the most growth and I see people really kind of coming into their own. They uh, come into the class kind of knowing how to write a profile and maybe maybe a little bit of other stuff too, but, um, but by the end of the semester, they really are like understanding how it all works um, and some of them, some students really have found their voice in a way that's like super exciting. Um, and I also really love um, advising Dig f through that class for the same reason. It's just so incredibly rewarding to watch people grow um, into into their strengths and and become something bigger than they they ever imagined. It's just so exciting. <laughs> I can't tell you. <laughs> advisor for our department magazine dig could you share your perspective on why gpr students should be excited about zine production oh absolutely so um you know i think magazine style writing is something that you can do in a lot a lot of places a lot of the stories that i give to my students as examples are from like the new york times um wall street journal you can go into those kinds of places and write the same kind of style um that we talk about for magazines, very, um, the featurey kind of like engaging, grabbing your reader, giving them inspiring or useful information. Um, all of that you can do in newspapers too. But the great thing about magazine publishing is that there's a magazine for literally everything. Um, so whatever you're interested in, there's a magazine for it out there. Magazines are a, a great place because you really get to to dive into that passion of whatever whatever it is and write about it. Uh, you know, everything from like I don't fly fishing to to food. <laughs> uh, just go to Barnes and Noble and look at the magazine rack, and you've got you can see them all. It's crazy um, how many different kinds of magazines there are. Do you have any hobbies outside of journalism? I do. Okay. What, what is, okay. So I, um, this is kind of dorky. I love to knit. I've been a knitter my whole life. Um, not surprising. I love to read. I have stacks of books all over my house. It drives my husband crazy <laughs> that I can't, I have a Kindle that's loaded up with a bunch of books and then I still have stacks of books everywhere. Um, I'm kind of a gym rat. I go to the gym all the time. Um, 
and I love yoga. <laughs> um, I've been I've been practicing yoga for several years now. I started because um, it was like the closest place to the campus that I could um, sign up with and exercise right after class. Like I had a really weird schedule one semester and I was looking for something that was like super close. And so I ended up over at Purple Yoga down um, on PCH. And there, I don't go there anymore, but um, but that's how I got into yoga. And I love it. I share that with Barb Kingsley. <laughs> One thing I forgot to say before, I am, like I told, uh, like I said at the beginning, I'm a sports writer. I was a sports writer. That was the first thing I did, my first part of my career. And I really thought that was what I was going to do. I've always loved sports. Um, I'm a crazy baseball fan. I love the Dodgers. <laughs> I live and die with the Dodgers. Um, and, uh, my party trick is that I can score a baseball game, you know, like in the, you see the score books that they use. I can actually score a baseball game, um, basically from years of sports writing, but I, I knew how to do it before too, but, um, but it's my little party trick. Sometimes people are like shocked that's, that I would know how to do that. So I can, <laughs> I can tell you like how to actually write down like a, a double play from short to second to first and. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I love baseball that much. Um, but I also know an incredible amount about like a whole bunch of sports because when you cover preps, you have to write about everything. So, um, I know how cross country meets work. I know a lot about water polo, <laughs> all kinds of things.